We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Today is National Tea Day, so we're going to do a little review on my T2 24 Reasons to Smile Advent Calendar so far, because today is the 15th, <laughs> so I haven't finished it. But how cute! Is it just all these lovely designs? Yeah, even Pippi likes to look at it. <laughs> Today's day 15 is Pax a Peach. Let's see. Oh, definitely peachy. Yep. Hmm. Usually I'm not a big fan of the Tazanes. I'm more of a, I love the black teas with flavors. Any flavor that they have, <laughs> I'll love. But this is actually quite nice. It's not, um, it's not too sweet or a bit bitter like sometimes they can be. It's just, it's good. And that's, as someone who's not really big on fruit teas, saying that. Mm. So, I have tried 15 teas so far. And the first day was Singapore breakfast. And oh my god so good i love that one the tie for number one so far it's um a black tea which again i love uh it's got some green tea in there it says reminiscence of kaya toast this mix of green tea coconut and pandan sings with richly sweet toasty and coconut flavors this brew is ultimate ode to singapore's beloved national breakfast and oh it was delicious so good Number two, Jade Mountain. I actually own this one already. <laughs> uh, it says, uh, explore Jade Mountain and discover utopia of cocoa, brutal pieces, and green tea. This ascent may, may be steep, but the hint of chocolate and sweet hazelnut praline is totally worth it. So yeah, I really like this ones with the hint of chocolate or something in there. Uh, so that was great also. Number three, this is my other tie for the top favorites that... I'll be buying so Singapore breakfast I'll be buying and this one pom pom pumping pomegranate I'll be buying usually I'm not a fan of pomegranate but this is delicious and again there's a tisane so not a normal black tea that I'm used to is herbal uh, it says the essence of Grand Bazaar Istanbul a sweet tangy and mystical flavor this tea will take you on a flavor journey and it may surprise and it definitely did wonderful really loved it number Four. Day four was eggnog, which I bought last year, which I quite like as well. It's um, it's interesting. <laughs> so it says, eggnog, that sweet, luscious concoction at the center of so many Christmas traditions. A delicious mess of creamy, custard-like flavors, definitely. Uh, this Yuletide treat is loved for its indulgent dessert flavors. So it's a black tea, which I love. It's got some blackberry leaves in there, some flavoring, like condensed milk, caramel. And uh, yeah, I, re I really like that one too. Uh, day five was Green Rose. This was okay, but it was really sweet. And um, yeah, just sort of wasn't that into it. Uh, it was a green tea, so maybe that's why. You know, I like peppermint and things like that, but other green teas I'm not really that big on. And it says, vibrant green tea blend with rose petals and tropical fruits for a bold taste sensation. It definitely was bold. Great is an afternoon tea and blooming beautiful ice in summer. Day six was Melbourne breakfast. Uh, usually the smell of it, I'm like, eh, it's okay. And because I'm from Melbourne, I really wanted to love it. But the smell never did much for me. I like the smell of other ones, like the Singapore 
um, and I think the New York, but I actually quite liked Melbourne breakfast. It surprised me. Uh, so it's a black tea with vanilla in there, which I love. And it says, when the wind starts howling, this brew will see you through. Indulge a little with its full-bodied vanilla sweet tea, bound to keep you cozy all year round. Sip it up, Melbourne style. So I think I'll actually be getting that one at some point too. Day seven was sweetest dreams. I used to have this years ago when I had trouble sleeping. Um, it's okay, you know. It's uh, yeah, it's fine. There's n nothing too special about it. It's a chamomile mix. So it says, sweet dreams made of this. Chamomile, apple, silver lime flowers, and lavender create beautiful aromas and pretty brew that, pretty brew that's bursting with sweet natural notes. Oh, the sun is hitting me. Notes. <laughs> Move a bit. Uh, day eight was French Earl Grey. This was nice. I had bought this for friends before because I love Earl Grey and I had never really had it before, but it's quite good. So again, a mix of a black tea, uh, but there's hibiscus and things in there. So it says French Earl Grey gets a French twist with a oh so fruity, a medium bodied black tea base with pretty petals and notes of fruit that play with classical bergamot in an inspiring bold and redefined infusion. So yeah, I, I recommend that one too. That was quite good. Day nine, where are you? I've written notes on the back. <laughs> Day nine, oh, turmeric ginger ninja. I love turmeric and uh, turmeric lattes and things like that. Cool, you know, great. This one I did not like. I don't enjoy that much ginger in my drinks. Uh, eating is different, but just in the drinks, I, I really don't like it. And it was just really strong of the ginger, so I didn't finish it. Um, if you love ginger, then definitely give this a try. It's bursting with good stuff thanks to carrot and ginger. We've given this wholesome herbal a hit of power-packed turmeric. It's supercharged organic wonder sip loaded with sweet earthy notes. But it was a no for me. Day 10. Where are you? Mulled wine magic. I bought this last year and loved it. So again, a big yes for me. Uh, a fruity, zesty and in enhancing winter favorite that encapsulates all ar I'm struggling to talk now <laughs> aromatic flavors of traditional mulled wine each sip is a fragrant journey with a touch of spice to warm you up from the inside out so again like a herbal and oh ho, 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 yum more like a tisane sorry day 11 creme brulee this was nice yeah um I kind of expected a sort of richer caramelish taste but still good um it's a black tea flavored which i love they're my favorite things next to pp of course where are you <laughs> uh where are we uh decadent sweet treat velvety vanilla plays with rich caramel and smooth hazelnuts in a gorgeously golden brew an intense aroma that enhances a glorious infusion yeah I'd, I'd probably buy that one too. Uh, number 12, China Jasmine. Uh, yeah, it was okay. Uh, a green tea. To be honest, a lot of the green teas kind of taste a bit of the same for me, at least from, from what I've had already from T2. Um, they're fine. They're just not my favorite. This is a blend of green tea and jasmine produces a light yellow infusion with a delicate jasmine scent. A very popular green tea, great for everyday drinking or as an accompaniment to Asian food. Whew. I'm getting warm now with the sun. <laughs> okay. Back to it. Let me just move out of the sun a little bit. <laughs> Day 12. Day 12 was... Oh no, sorry, that was China Jasmine, yes. So day 13, chai. I love a good chai and all the different chai flavours, so I thought that was great as well. Again, flavoured black tea. Can't go wrong. Um, and also, I had all of these the way it says to, so if it says with milk, if it says without, where usually a chai I'll have... I'll steam it and make it on the stove so it's a bit frothy and sort of more latte rather than tea. But for this, I did it how everything asked to be prepared. So chai, complex, spicy and incredibly tasty. Our signature chai blend is a unique classic. Perfect to wrap your hands around on a chilly afternoon, traditionally brewed with milk and honey. 
So, and again, chai, because it has that cinnamon and cloves tasting, it definitely fits into the Christmassy sort of flavors, even though you can drink it year round. Day 14. Yesterday was Sticky Date Delight. Quite good. Um, I was excited about this when I came out, but I never tried it again. It was okay, but, you know, it was fine. Nothing too special, but okay, you know. I'd, I'd drink it again. I'd drink most of these again. The only no one definitely was a turmeric ginger ninja. Um, some, you know, buying 13 new packets of tea at about $20. Very expensive, so I wouldn't buy them all at once. I might buy one every now and again. Um, but yes. <laughs> so, uh, Sticky Date Delight uh, was a rubus, uh traditional Sticky Date pudding in, in your hot little hands. The indulgent rich taste of caramel, silky smooth toffee sauce, and steaming Sticky Date make for a drool-worthy brew that is simply <laughs> sublime. And today's number 15, that was Packs of Peach. Where are you written in here? Packs of Peach. Um, uh, it's all peachy with this succulent blend of lip smacking flavors. This sweet brew sings a peach, papaya, apple, and roasted chicory, creating a soft combo that really packs a peach. Also great iced. And yeah, I could definitely taste drinking that, that it would be delicious in an iced tea. So I'll definitely have to try that as we are in summer here, hence the hot sun steaming in at me. <laughs> ah, oh, there she is. So yeah, overall, this was gifted to me, um, but not from T2, from a friend. Uh, but for 24 loose leaf teas, uh, I think it was about $40. Just as a nice sort of tasting palette, definitely nice. I really liked a lot of them, and I'll definitely be buying them out. I am very excited to try the banana bake, because I'm a big fan of all the sort of desserty flavors. Strawberries and cream also sounds really cool. Christmas breakfast, which will probably be day 24. I love that from last year, and I'm just waiting for that. Again, it's a black tea with flavors in there. Uh, Go Go Goa, I already own and love it. Gorgeous Geisha coming up, already own and love it. Uh, New York breakfast is in there, which is cool. And Twinkle Berry, I'm very excited to try. I haven't tried that or smelled it. And it says, apple, raspberry, beetroot, and pretty petals create a blushing brew, a berry to zane that tastes like a fresh punnet from the market. Perfect chilled on a summer evening or hot when you want to rug up. So overall, I like this quite a lot. I would say four and a half out of five stars so far. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely suggest checking it out.